Hello everyone, so today I decided to do a slightly different video to what I'm used to do doing and this video is a book review in case you didn't notice I said back in my back in a post on Instagram the other day that I got this book as a way of getting myself back into reading and honestly I think it was worth it and I think it was a great start to get me back into reading and this book itself is just incredible throughout. I'm going to say incredible a lot in this video so um, hint, 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 hint there. And the book that I'm going to do a review of today is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Back at Christmas I got The Fault in Our Stars for Christmas of course and if you didn't see my Christmas haul video then there's a link in the description. But I got this as a purpose of getting myself back into reading and of course as I say it was a, it's a great start to get me back. And just reading this has just it's just it's just incredible guys the the narr the story to it is just incredible for those of you who are unfamiliar with the fault in our stars here is a um synopsis despite the tumor shrinking medical miracle that has bought her a few years hazel has never been anything but terminal her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis but when a gorgeous plot twist named augustus waters suddenly appears at cancer kids support group Hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten. Now this Hazel and Augustus are of course the two main characters of the novel and um, so they meet at a cancer support group and they quickly develop feelings for each other. Throughout the novel their relationship develops and it becomes a loving relationship and just toward, like, towards the end of the novel um, it comes to a very devastating climax. Now I'm not going to spoil anything um, but I think for those of you who have read it you know what I'm talking about and for those who haven't read it I recommend reading it so you can find out what happens. And just when that to its devastating climax that bit just like so for instance here's the funny thing I was reading the final few chapters at about three in the morning on Saturday and just reading those final few chapters and seeing what happened or reading what happened to Augustus it, it just brought me to tears because as I say I'm not going to spoil it but just a devastating climax to what actually happened in their relationship but just if you haven't read it just read it and you'll find out what happens but but then again, I just the two characters are just incredible. Honestly, guys, if you've never read this book, then it, honestly, I I mean, I say it a million times, but just I recommend reading it because the review that I once read, um, it described John Green at his best, and honestly, John Green, it I think this is in my humble opinion John Green's best novel, and I and I'd love to read some of his other work, but just so far, this is the best novel I've read by John Green. And also guys, in case you didn't notice, um, The Fault in Our Stars has actually been adapted into a movie which I'm really looking forward to seeing in the summer. And if you haven't seen the trailer for it then there's a link in the description. And I just think it's going to look like an amazing film. But I mean also, but also I would recommend reading the, the novel first to like get an idea of of the film on what the film is going to be like. I've seen a lot of films but I've never read the novels before but I mean, by reading the novel first you'll you'll get an understanding of what what will happen in the movie. So yeah thank you so much for watching guys this has been a book review of The Fault in Our Stars and remember if you haven't read this novel I recommend um, guessing it and reading it and it's just incredible I mean it's 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 just incredible, it's moving, and it's just a masterpiece, guys. And, yeah, just incredible. Thank you so much for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and share the love. See ya!